Okay, so now we're on the next step. Don't. All right, y'all. So, basically, that blonde wig that y'all see me got red right now. I had it since like September last year, and I was I had like plucked it a little bit. That's why I said we're on to the next step because I plucked it a little bit. And what I'm saying right now is that oh the lace is transparent, and we're gonna put some foundation. Nope, nope. We're gonna put some guys we glue spray on there because I seen the people on YouTube use it and they can make their wig look beautiful. So that's what I was gonna do. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all some background about the wig. I don't got the company I bought it from right now, but I'll definitely put it on the screen. And it was it's a pretty nice wig. It was my first wig I ever bought. So y'all never saw it because it's blonde and I never wanted to buy the um hair. Like, I bought everything to install the wig. I never bought anything to, um, add the color to it, the dye. So, yeah. That's what I'm just preparing for dyeing right now because I plucked it. I'm still a beginner. I'm, like, I'm literally still a beginner, guys. A year later, almost. I'm literally still a beginner, so that's why I'm just doing beginner stuff. And spraying that got to be on there is beginner stuff. So, yeah. I'm going to just let y'all keep watching this video. If y'all have any questions, just comment down below and I'll answer them. So, I bought it off of Amazon. Obviously, you can go get it from your hair store or whatever. So, I just got two of these Kiss um, Cajun Spice hair dyes. Semi-permanent. I see everybody using these, so I'm like, I might as well just use them. Okay, guys. Now I'm about to pour the pot in there. Oh. She's giving hunchback of Notre Dame. Like, oh my god, girl. Um, with a little at a time. This how it looks. Looks good, don't it? Should I go darker? Or should I just put it in? I'm gonna add a little bit more dye just to make sure because I know. The, um, got to be is literally, hold on, let me show y'all. The gotta be spray is literally coming off. Y'all can see that, right? Like, it's literally coming off. I'm gonna make sure the back one. So, it's been five minutes. I turned my flash on. Look at how good it looks, okay? That's, alright. see. It's looking pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. The top is still very light. Maybe it's the blunt the bundles throwing me off. I still feel like it's pretty light. Like look at this. Better to this. Yeah. So this is how it looks. I've been sitting here for like 16 minutes. Let me reach in here and see how it looks. Oh, it looks good. Without the flash. This good as well. Still a little bit light right here, but I feel like it's it's good. I'll take it out and show you all a lot. At the front of the wig, this is how it looks. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The ends are very dark. That's the only thing I don't like. So let's just take this upstairs and wash it. Okay, just finished blow drying the hair. This is how it look. Oh, it's giving that one um lady from um season three uh, American Horror Story with the witches. That one. And just get a little bit of my brush. And really just lightly apply it to the lace. As soon as I put it in the hot water, the got to be straight went off. So now we're going to got to be it, of course. Okay, so the lace looks pretty good. I'm not even going to hold y'all. The lace looks pretty good. Okay. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, I wanted a more of a 
but this still feel kind of middle like i want it where my comb go Hold on. there we go so yeah as you can see it's like very little lace before we get to the the the, the track so right here that's where right here that's where the track is so yeah well my main concern is flat iron and the hair that um you know cover that okay so as y'all can see right now i'm over here creating the part for my side part it's a left side part of course as i'm recording my phone it's gonna look to the right up it's looking like it's on the right side of my head but really it's on the left side of my head and basically i'm this is not no tutorial guys i said this before but it's just me trying to figure out how to do a side part and make sure the tracks are still covered especially in the back middle so yeah that's just what i'm doing right now i'll spray like the roots of the hair just so it's easier to part and yeah i'm making a side part i didn't want the little the bang swoop to be too long or like too thick too big so i was really trying to get it perfect so it didn't look too bulky on my head so yeah that's what i'm doing and of course now that i got it to where i wanted it to be i don't have a um i don't have the i don't have a flower and comb hot comb my bad so i just had to use my small little straightener super small so yeah that's how i just used to make sure that the hair laid down or well, was placed where it was supposed to be then i plugged in my long curler and that's what i used to flatten it out very easy very simple Why do I keep doing this? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. It's these scissors, you know? Hey, look. <sighs> Stupid scissors. So, as you guys can see, I messed up. I cut a string that should not have been cut. So, I just laid it down. And I'm trying to use extra stocking cap to fix it. Then I realized I could just pull it forward and I glued that down. Now, I'm applying my foundation. And that took that whole ball cap process took 20 minutes. Can you guess? And I chopped it down to like five seconds. Okay, guys, so here I am just trying on the wig for placement. You always want to do this before you glue it down and just make sure it's at the right spot. You know where you want to put it. It just, you know, tucked behind your ear. And here I am using a ghost bar and glue. It costs $21. So small. But I think I like it. I wouldn't say it's the best one out there. Because I know it's way better than one than that. But not horrible. So here I am just doing small dots. And I'm using the end of my reptile comb. To um spread it out more evenly. And then I will blow dry it. So it's tacky. Like it's like eyelash glue. When you put on your eyelashes. You don't just stick it on there as soon as you put the glue on the eyelash. You wait till it's tacky. So that when you put on your eye. It's not all the way stuck. Or when you put on your eye. It's not too wet. It's just tacky enough where you can move it around if it's not in the right place and that's what you need to do with your wig as well 
so basically yeah i'm just um trying it on now i'm put gluing it down and make sure you comb out them hairs in the back so they're not stuck because then you're gonna get annoyed because that's what happened to me also i know that some people like to glue down their wig with the got to be glue spray which i was using earlier but i literally cannot stand that spray to glue down a wig i swear it will pull out your edges more than the glue like the glue when the glue like i don't know how to explain it but it, the glue like balls up when it dries so like say you want to pull it off you could literally just wet the lace of the wig and the glue will start you know putting off but that got to be glue. Oh, I do not like it like that. The got to, it's good for a quick, like, if you really try to go somewhere and you need to just lay down your front lace. It's good for that, but I would not recommend just wearing it like you're trying to stall a wig for a week. No. Because it don't even last a week. It lasts a day. But the the um, the um ghost bond is way better. It's very, like, it will, it will stay on your head. That's why the professionals are using it. Eric and Tay, Jonathan, and Joy by joining them, they be using it. So, because it's still on their head. That's why I don't really like the God to be. So this is how we look with the makeup on. We look good. I feel like I could I could have did my makeup a little better, but oh well. This one hair did not flip. This is the final look. Make sure y'all follow my TikTok. It looks so good. Let me show y'all. This is a lace. Some hair clips definitely would set this off. But this is gonna have to do. I'm gonna flip the camera. Um, I love this color and this hairstyle. Like the flips, chef's kids, like, period. Yeah.